it defined gender policing as dictating behavior depending on your sex and gender. Um, so they, and they did it to try to protect women. Uh, you can't go out late at night, you can't wear this, you can't wear that. But then the group says, in the short term, that is actually a very poor um, choice and course of action because by highlighting a certain behavior that needs to be followed, you're automatically saying that there is a behavior that makes it okay to abuse and um, target people. So really what we should be aiming for is not to control people based on their gender and their sex, but to respect people no matter what they are born as and who they are. So that is basically why my fingers are always androgynous, because you should not be looking at people as men and women, but just as humans. You mentioned that uh, that was uh, being implemented in India. Oh, it's in implemented everywhere. It's just the video itself. Yeah, like here. Um, uh, when a girl tries to carry something heavy, a man has success. Like, no, let me carry that for you. Bye bye, guy. Yeah, and the man in turn is also like, if he doesn't offer to carry that for the girl, he's also a failure as a man. So it, there's a lot of rules. And you don't believe in such no, I don't. thing. Yeah. Um. In um, most of your works, um, is it men or women um, dominant subject? Women, because it's easier for me to get a model for that. I just look in the mirror. And... <laughs> <laughs> what, are, what is your inspiration? Um, for the idea, show itself? Idea and uh, subject and the design. Uh, it very, it's a very personal thing because as a girl 